Dalvin, it's good to see you, man. It's always good to see you. Stand up with you. I appreciate you being patient while we were chat chatting with uh, yeah, with Patrick yeah. as well. So you've been around this thing, this new group of coaches, new offense for a while now. Um, what what stands out to you? If you had to say, here's the biggest difference in terms of what I think our offensive approach, what we want to be compared to maybe what we've been in the past, what what, what stands out? Well, I'm not comparing anything you know, to the to the past, but the understanding of what we're trying to get done, you know, it's clear um, of how we're trying to attack and, and what we're trying to get done as a whole is understood as a group. And I think that's big in you know, today's game of, you know, the players understanding why we're trying to do this and why we're trying to accomplish this and how we're trying to attack people. Yeah, that makes people play faster, in my opinion. Is that because of really good communication? Uh, what, what, why have, has that been conveyed as quickly as it has to your satisfaction? Yeah, it's definitely been the communication part. Uh, I think, you know, KO and, and the whole coaching staff, everybody he brought in, you know, does that well. I think that's one of the, the, the better traits that we have as a, as a group and as a whole, as a coaching staff. You know, they, they get everything clear to us, and you know, we understand the assignment, and we just go out and, and do what we need to do on the physical part. We make the assumption, because he comes from the Rams, and the Rams obviously like to throw, that, okay, what's that mean for Dalvin's role? You're a guy who's always been versatile. You've always been willing and able to catch passes as well. So do you have a handle on how much it change, what, how much has changed for you as a guy who is used to being a really focal point of this offense? Still, um, just being me, um, I think the ball still has got to come in my hands, and that's, that's however it comes in my hand. Um, I'm just willing to win at this point, um, whatever it is. I, I, but, I, but I think the off, today's offense, you got to run the football. However many times it is, however many times it is. But you know, like me, I'm just I'm just ready to win. I'm just ready to get this get a championship back to Minnesota. However we get it done, um, nobody knows how we're gonna get it done until week one, two, and three sure. until it presents itself. So you know, we're just grinding right now, and you know, I'm, I'm having fun with the game. So your concern isn't necessarily how much how often you touch the ball. It's that you do touch it in key situations and make a difference that way. Is that what matters to you more than the number of, of, of times you carry it? Yeah, the number don't matter to me, man. Um, you know, I, I, I know what I mean to this team. Um, this team means a lot to me. I just want to I just want to contribute as much as I can to this team, um, whatever my role is. You know, I have fun with these guys, a fun group of guys, fun group of coaches, and, and I'm just having fun. Dalvin Cook is our guest. You know, uh, I have to believe, too, you're a competitive guy, and you mentioned you want to win, and that hasn't happened the last couple of years. That's got to get old. I assume that's a big part of it. That wasn't fun if, if you're about – the kind of success that you're talking about, which isn't just individual success, but team success, right? Yeah, we had our ups and downs. You know, we we, we had some years where we got got in the playoffs and did some things. You know, made some excitement. But we're trying to sustain that success. We're trying to we trying to be up there and be up there for good. And you know, I think that's the that's the culture and that's the mindset that that we're trying to set around here now. And you know, we, we can't just talk about it. We gotta go. We gotta go put it on the grass. And that takes the meeting room. That takes training camp. And that takes a that takes a collective group. So we just gotta go get it done. How do you feel physically? I feel great. Feel good. Yeah, man. I think we got one of the best training staffs and recovery people in the in the game right now. You know, shout out to Tyler, Uriah, Amanda, all them Aubrey, everybody that's in the training room. You know, that's a that's a great group we got. Um, train, our, our strength and conditioning coach Keys, Josh, all them they. They do a great job of, of putting us in position to go out and just compete. Don't worry about the other side. You know, they they take care of that for us. You can't – you've had, obviously, some bad luck when it comes to some injuries. Mm -hmm. um, I assume you can't keep that – let that creep into your head, right, in terms of looking forward. You just have to go out and play. Or is it back there? Because, you know, you've had you've had some, some bad breaks. I don't say I had bad luck. Uh, I, don't, I won't say that. I, I feel like I got good luck. I'm in a great position in my life. I'm a lucky young man, blessed young man. So I wouldn't say bad luck. You know, guys had it worse. Um, but you know, I, I'm just looking forward to play some games with my team. Just looking forward to be out there all year. The assumption is everybody's talking about um, the relationship between the head coach and number eight, your your quarterback. Um, what do you observe of that? Is it different than it's been in the past? Is that an important part of you think of getting the very best out of the QB? What do you make of what you've seen? No, I feel like they got a great relationship. You know, obviously they was with each other back in Washington. Yeah. Um, so I don't know some of that stuff carried over. The relationship obviously is there with those two. Um, 
you know, I, I, I never look backwards. I always look forward. You know, and I feel like you know, we're in a great spot as a team. I feel like eight is in a great spot, you know, leading this team. And, you know, we just got to follow eight lead and go out there and, and compete. I asked Patrick this. When, a co when, when a, a complete, there's a complete staff change, in this case a general manager's change as well, a lot of times it's teams that are viewed as, well, they got to sort of start over or it's going to take a long time for them to get to that place where they're competing in playoffs and maybe even making a run. There seems to be enough talent on this team where you guys uh, that don't have to think of it that way. Do you view it as, no, we've got to, we've got to make the playoffs. The, the, our goal is to make the playoffs this year, not just to get better than we were, even with a new staff, but to hit the ground running and have that in you. Do you feel like you have that in you? Yeah, knowing, knowing the guys we got in the locker room, I wouldn't care who our coach was. You know, we love KO to death and we're glad he's our coach. But, you know, that's why KO took this job. He, he see the competitors we got in this in this locker room. Um, he see the guys that every day we come out, we're ready to compete no matter what. So I feel like we got the guys to go out and compete right now. We, we, we always felt like that. You know, we just fell short a couple of times. So, you know, just, just – Having those, having those awareness of games and situations we can go win it and put it away. We got to get better in those situations. And, you know, last year we won a bunch of games by one score. Yeah. So it's you know, right there. We just gotta, we just gotta go finish the deal, man. We got the guys in the locker room that's ready to go compete, and we got a head coach that's ready to back us no matter what. So we just gotta go do it. The in the off season, what do you do? You know, there's now there's stuff workouts seems like almost all the time. But what do you do when you're trying to get away? How, what does getaway mean for Dalvin Cook? Uh, I'm from Miami, so that's the getaway. Uh, you know, when it's a long season, so when the season's over, you know, you kind of, kind of give yourself that that mental break, that physical and mental break of just stepping back from ball. Yeah, and that means go spend time with your family, uh, go kick back on the water, just chill and just have some family time, man. And I'm just, I'm just blessed to have a big family that that cares about my mental and. So that's that's important in today's society. You know, your mental, Definitely. everybody. You know, check on your family and and check on your loved ones. And my family do that, so I appreciate them for that. But me, I just kick back and go on the beach and sit by the pool or something and just and relax, man. Play some video games with Justin Jefferson and, and just <laughs> and just chill, man. That's just that's just me, man. I'm a chill guy, man. Uh, last item, you mentioned Justin. He made some uh, headlines a couple weeks ago, basically saying. Look, I, you know, Dalvin's, or I should say, uh, Devontae's the best receiver, but by the end of this season, I think it's going to be me. It's, it's a sign of his confidence, obviously. Do you like that, that kind of confidence, or do you ever worry that, okay, then it puts a target on backs because other players read that stuff and they pay attention to that thing? What did you make of all that? I don't think his target can get no bigger than what it is. <laughs> I don't think it can get no bigger, but, you know, when you see Justin work, you see the way he carry himself. From day one when he came into this thing, I said he's going to be a superstar. Um, he came in like he was a pro already, like he's been in the league already. And his hard work, man, you just you can't he, – he, I'm with him a thousand percent. You know, the way he works, he backs it. The way he comes in the meets and studies, the way he – the way he do everything, man. He's a, he's a complete pro on and off the field, and he's only getting better, man. He's, he's a young player in this league. He's a superstar growing up right in our face, and – you know, I'm behind him 100%, you know, because he works his tail off. Pleasure to chat with you as always, man. Thanks for appreciate giving us the time. Much appreciated. Good All luck right. this season. Hope you do stay healthy. I hope it's yeah. uh, a hell of a run because I yeah. know that's what you guys are looking for. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah.